What is going on guys, it's Hector here with Vaping Lizards and today we're doing another e-liquid review and today we're doing the Gonzo e-liquid line. Um, we got uh, Brass Tacks, uh, Duke and Screwjack. Um, Screwjack and Brass Tacks are a 60-40 a blend and Duke is a 70-30 blend, uh, BGPG. So we're going to talk about the juice, we're going to talk about the bottles, we're going to vape them, talk about their flavors and all that good stuff. First things first, let's get down uh, close up and see how the bottles look and their labels. So here they are guys, their labels clearly as you can see at the front, it gives you their uh, flavor name right there in the middle, Gonzo Vapors, which is you know their company. Um, if you spin the bottle towards the right side, you're going to have a warning label there telling you about the warnings and it's going to have the um, three... Uh, MG for the the neck level your your neck level is going to be on the uh, right side of the bottle if you're looking at it on the other end of the bottle you have all their social media Facebook Instagram and um, another social media that I'm not oh YouTube that's YouTube so YouTube there and then obviously on the bottom you got their website as well right down there so we're gonna vape them I'm gonna start with brass tacks and then I'm gonna work my way towards my my left your right so I already dripped it up off camera I got it right here as you can see it's juiced up so I got brass tacks first on the plate I like that flavor and the paper profile as I can see here in my list the favorite profile for this uh, juice brass tax is black black cherry and pomegranate. I get a slight bit of the pomegranate. The sweetness of maybe the, the cherries. I never had black cherries, so I could probably get the sweetness. But I do get a more creamy, more dairy type flavor in there, almost as if it had caramel. I don't know if the mixture of the pomegranate with the black cherries. And it gives that kind of like taste, but I get like a little caramelly, like real, like real physical caramel when I vape it. And I'm not sure if it's those two flavors together, but it's freaking excellent. I will definitely vape this on a daily basis. Got a little bit of juice on my finger. Um, but next up we have Duke, and Duke is um mixture of apple. I'm not sure it's green apple or regular apple. It didn't specify. Peach and strawberries. So this is definitely my ball fuel, except the apple. I do love peach and strawberry, so maybe that's gonna dim down the apples, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. That's freaking amazing. That That's really, really good. That's a really, really nice vape. Nice and mellow. You still get a punch in the face of flavors. The peach is definitely good quality peach uh, on their flavoring when they use their uh, peach flavoring. The strawberries is more like a uh, in the back kind of tone. Um, apples, I get a slight taste of like, you know, when you bite an apple, like the, 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 the peel and stuff, like kind of like that, but the peach is a little more overpowering than everything else, which I'm completely fine with it because I do like peach a lot. It's really, really good. Oh yeah, definitely a nice, um, nice, uh, mellow, refreshing vape, if I may say. All right, last up we got Screwjack, and it's a light vanilla custard, caramel, and apple pie. I don't mind like apple pie-ish um, vapes. I don't mind caramel vapes as long as it's not like too overpowering. But I'm not really into the custards. But here it says it's light vanilla custard, so we'll see how it is, and uh, we'll talk about it. see that that custard regardless if it's regular or light or whatever I just don't like the aftertaste of the custard um, it almost tastes fruity I guess a apple pie but apple pie is more like a pastry type deal but I don't so I don't know why it kind of tastes fruity I might have a I might have a little bit of the other juice carrying on there it goes it went away yeah so I still get that that um 
aftertaste of like that custard and I really don't enjoy that. So maybe, yeah, I might be able to vape this. Not even, in the tank I definitely won't because you get a little bit better flavor on a temperature control. I might be able to drip it, but not for a whole day, like a daily vape. Um, that's for sure. I, I, like I said, I don't, I don't enjoy uh, custards. <clears throat> so that was it guys, that was for the Gonzo e-liquid line. I, I, I gotta say, I did enjoy uh, brass tacks better. Um, I, I just don't know. I, I like that creamy background taste. It was uh, delicious, uh, for lack of a better word. I did enjoy it a lot. Um, Duke, really, really, really good flavor. I actually, I thought it wasn't going to be too good because it had the apples in there. But hey, hey, hey it, it proved me wrong. It was really, really good, really refreshing, really mellow. Nice to vape on a daily basis, so for sure, Brass Tacks and, and Duke, I'll be able to vape that on a daily basis. The Custom One Screw Jack, not, not too much, because again, I don't like that aftertaste, and I probably wouldn't enjoy, wouldn't enjoy it, even if I try, because I still get that aftertaste that I don't enjoy. But, that was it for this review, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank Vaping Lizards for having me here doing this review, and until next time, vape safe.